Dear Frank, when I was a teenager, I read a book and a quote stood out to me. So much so that I remembered it all these years. In the book, the mother says to the daughter, there are three questions every woman should be able to answer yes to before they commit to a man. One, does he treat you with respect at all times? Two, if he is the exact same person 20 years from now that he is today, would you still want to marry him? Three, does he inspire you to be a better person? I'm lucky to have found you, and I'm even luckier that I can confidently answer yes to all three of those questions. Hannah, you are fantastic in every way. You inspire me every day to be the best version of myself. Whether we are happy and enjoying the moment or in the middle of an argument, you make me feel each emotion at the height of the emotion. You make me feel alive every day that I spend with you. Every day I pray I can give you even an ounce of the inspiration and emotions you give me. I promise to love you every day and to try to show you that love as often as possible. I promise to try my best even when it's hard. I promise to work through and toward things together. I will try to remember that our marriage will require work and compassion to grow. I'm so happy to be partnered with you for the rest of my life. I love you. Yours, Hannah. I promise to love and cherish you forever, and I cannot wait to be your husband. I'll see you at the altar, my bumblebee. I love you. Love, Bubby. ever think about it how people fall in love it's not the way that they look that's for movies and books it's a feeling that creeps inside well i met frank um through an app as we all do these days <laughs> she had to message me first for bumble and immediately like we had a connection. Basically how he talks is how he texts to long paragraphs, lots of feelings and emotions and excitement. <laughs> and I couldn't see him that weekend. It was Tammy's birthday weekend. I mentioned the birthday cake I had for Tammy's birthday and he said, I really want cake. I don't live with anybody that's stopping me from going to go get cake. So I'm gonna go get cake right now while I'm on FaceTime with you. And so he gets in the car with me still on the phone and he's just talking the whole way there. All the way to Kroger through the grocery store. What kind of cake should I get? Should I get Sprite to go with it? And I was like, yeah, yeah, get Sprite. I bought an ice cream cake, still on FaceTime with her, drove home and proceeded to eat half the ice cream cake while I was still on the phone with her, just because I could, so. She doesn't let me live that down, so. I am Abby, the maid of honor and the cousin of the bride. She's played many, many roles in my life throughout the almost 24 years I've known her. So I'm gonna do my very best. Uh, by talking about my best friend and my brother, Frank Greco, right here. She's like a totally different person when she's with Frank, and that's what I love about them. She's very easy to talk to. I can talk to her about anything. Though she was older than me, she often went along with and encouraged any crazy ideas I had. You know, a lot of people ask you all the time, hey, how's it going, you know, and it's almost said as just a kind of a common courtesy, but with Frank, he actually means it. Frank. Tonight, I entrusted my sister to you. I know that you will support her in her dreams, and that the two of you will be each other's best friends, co-stars, travel companions, and confidants. Now, let's all raise our glasses to pop the Prosecco with the Grecos. Turn around and just take in the faces and the people who are here. These are the people who love you. 
who've come to support you. It is my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. Frank, you may kiss your bride. I hope we enjoy these moments and feelings the rest of our lives. No matter what happens, I would never trade these moments away. I truly believe the best for us is yet to come, which is unbelievable considering how happy I already am. Frank, I wanted to clue you in on a little secret. You've been a big part of Hannah's confidence growth. The way you love her is infectious, and I'm so glad you guys found each other.